President Biden officially releasing his budget today, and one of the ways he plans to raise revenue uh, and uh, lower the deficit is to go after investors. The Biden budget will hike capital gains tax rates, or proposes to hike them big time, for Americans with over a million dollars a year in income. CNBC Wealth Editor Robert Frank here to take us inside the numbers, and some of these numbers are really, Robert, breathtaking. They are, Tyler, and you said it before, big time. And the big headline for investors here is that plan to raise the capital gains rate to almost 45%. So there are two parts to this. First, he proposes raising the tax on long-term gains from 20%, that's the current rate, to 39.6%. That would tax investment gains the same as salary or wage income. Now, that would, this would apply to those with income over a million dollars, including any realized gains. So if you sold a business or stock for more than a million dollars in any given year, you would pay 39.6% on that gain over a million dollars. He also wants to increase the net investment income tax to 5%. So you add that together with a 39.6, and you get a long-term cap gains rate of 44.6%. If you lived in California and you sold your tech stock, you would pay a combined state and federal of 57.9% on the sale. If you were unlucky or lucky enough to live in New York City and you sold your seven-figure apartment, you would face a combined city, state, and federal tax of 59.4%. Now, Biden also brought back his billionaire minimum tax. This is a tax on a higher rate. Taxpayers with a net worth of $100 million or more would pay a minimum tax rate of 25% on all unrealized gains, Tyler. So that's any increase in the value of the stock or business, even if you didn't sell and realize any gains. Couple of so quick lots questions. of implications here for investors. Uh, I, I can hear Florida calling. I mean, but, but, but let's, let's talk about that last thing, which is a wealth tax, right? That is not an income tax. That is a 25% what? Of unrealized wealth gain? It would tax you every year? Tyler, and that's exactly the right word. It is a wealth tax. So the administration says, no, this is an additional tax on income, but they are now classifying unrealized gains, which you and I would consider wealth because you haven't sold, as income. And this is a one type of wealth tax. So they're going after wealth, both sold and mm -hmm. unsold. And let's go back to that, that high, high marginal rate on capital gains. It would apply only to people with incomes uh, over a million dollars, and it would apply only to uh, those, those uh, long-term assets that you sold that, that were more than a million dollars. So the, so the person who earns 400000 200000 who sells some mutual fund shares, their capital gains rate stays 20%? That's right. Uh, under this plan, if, if you have under a million dollars in income with your both income and, and gains combined, you wouldn't mm -hmm. be subject to this tax. I haven't figured out whether it's truly a marginal tax. So it's, is it every dollar above a million or is it truly 20, is it 39.6 plus 5 on everything? So we'll have to get the details of that. But this would, this would be revolutionary because it would tax investment Adios. gains the same as wage or salary income. All right, Robert, thank you so much for that. I, 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 I can sense that we'll have some reaction here on the desk. Oh, today. boy. Tim? Well, I mean, I was also that place that had the higher, the 59 point something percent. But, but uh, taxing unrealized wealth is, is something that to me is so ludicrous, especially when you think of the volatility we've had in housing prices. And how, how are they going to measure that, first of all? How are they going to measure that? How are you going to measure that? I think this is dead on arrival. Um, this is the kind of thing that comes on a bad day in the market that doesn't help. Um, but I, I don't think this had anything to do with the market's move today. All right. Anybody else want to jump in here? I mean, I, I, I sort of agree with hey, Tim on hey, that. Hey, Tyler. Yeah, man. Are you a fan of the Beatles? I know Tim is. There was a great a album, the Revolver, the Revolver album. Revolver. Yeah, you recall on that album, oh, Revolver was great, sung. Great album. Tax Man. One for you, 19 for me. And that song didn't go over too well. Neither will this tax plan, brother. This is, as Tim said, it ain't going to fly. Yeah, I don't, I don't know whether there's a trade here because there is no one that I've heard of today who says this is really anything more than a kind of uh, template. Posturing. Or a, a posturing, a template, a blueprint for the 2024 campaign. I, that, that he's put a target on the backs of the wealthy and investors.